This is a giant pumpkin. Put your hand on it, please. Can you put it on, on the pumpkin? Aha, that's the size. I can say this is about 60 centimeters. And why this is growing? Because this gentleman is very crafty and industrious. What he has done, you see this drip of water here? It's always there. And this is connected to this water tank. So 24 hours a day, this pumpkin is being fed. Practically, most of it is water then. <laughs> that is amazing. And let us see the gardener who has done this big achievement. He's called Joseph? Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Jacob. And he's originally from Goa. Kerala. Kerala. Is it from Kerala, not Goa? Not Goa. Oh, okay, amazing. Joseph, you have done well. God bless you. Update on the Jacob's pumpkin from Kerala, but he, now he lives in the England. Yes, can you come and uh, show us? How is your pumpkin now? Is it? Yeah. Last time you said it's around 60 centimeters, now it's. Ah, amazing. Put your hand on it just for the scale. That's it. That's the size. It's about 90 centimeters. Right? 90 centimeters now. Yeah, that's amazing. Let us show. You should give me one seed of this giant pumpkin so I can grow it through. Of course, I will. Brilliant. Yeah. So, maybe just for the sake of information, ask you to introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Jacob. I'm from South India. Yeah. Um, Kerala. Brilliant. Yeah. And uh, what you have put under this pumpkin that it is not uh, rotting? Uh, actually, this is I grown from the kambos. Kambos is underneath. Ah. Oh. So, this will let the water go and. From by yeah, the tank. that's it. That's great. Let us see if your dripping system is yet working. Yeah. Mm. It was here the other time, but yeah. I suppose that the tank is there, so that is working. Amazing. If anybody wants to grow a giant pumpkin, what they should do? Yes. Simple. Pumpkin need more water, oh. uh, more than any kind of or any compost. Water is important for pumpkin. Yes. In my experience, I know that. Yes. That's brilliant. Jacob the pumpkin man. <laughs> Amazing. Let us zoom to the tree. And to your face. Big happy smile of a farmer. Pumpkin. Jacob, can you put your hand there? To think how big it has become. It's, it's ripening instead of getting any bigger, it seems to me. Yeah, I think. It's changing color to orange. And I see there is another one there. And Second. there is third one there. And there are a few yes. ones there which they may not grow any bigger than that because the season is really running short. And beside the watering, Jacob, and uh, putting it on a compost heap for the food and drainage, yeah. uh, does the actual seed that you use has any effect on the quality? I think so, yeah. So you must have a seed from a pumpkin which was giant. Yeah. That is a different variety, That's of course. That's a different variety, yeah. That is almost... Now 60 centimeters, huge. And you can see the marking of the leaves. It's so yeah. delicate that the markings, the leaf has rubbed here and left the marking there. That's cool. Beautiful. With that drip, close there. 
Amazing. Yeah. Jacob and son continuing to grow pumpkins in the UK. Another variety of giant pumpkin that Jacob is growing. He's uh, from South uh, India in Kerala. Uh, and that's his allotment pumpkin in the UK. Look at it, it's beautiful. This one is a little bit paler and is about uh, more than half a meter, probably 60 centimeter now. And it's just growing. And the secret, as Jacob says, is to add water. We are here again with Jacob's baby. It's a beautiful pumpkin that he has. Actually, not just one baby, it's more than one. There is another one, white one there. Yeah, it's turning now to a kind of salmon beige color with a little bit, yeah, warty surface. It's turning beautiful, really. And this is Jacob. Jacob, uh, do you want to cover them now because of the frost? Yeah, because of the frost. Oh, yeah, the plant has suffered, as you yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, just covering the pumpkin, just to be sure that it not get damaged anymore. So, um, go ahead and cover it, Jacob. Now pumpkin covered. I can go. <laughs> oh, that's that's too big. That baby has grown very bigger than your packs. You can cover the other ones. Removing the moisture so it will not uh, get moldy. Yeah. It's like a person, should be covered with a jacket. <laughs> Beautiful. And the third one. Okay, that can cover it with the back. I can cover that. Yeah, now we have a pumpkin who is a hoodie. Third one. Yeah, we had a uh, one night of frost. The temperature fell to four degrees. It damaged some of the pumpkins and uh, the leaves mainly. Um, one of my little pumpkins also was damaged, but it was a little one. As big as this one. This big one seems that they uh, store the heat yes, somehow. So they don't suffer so much as yeah. the little ones. I like to remove it in the morning. Yeah, beautiful. There's no frost. Yeah, there is no frost tonight. I think that will be 10, 11, 10, 11. degrees. So that is above the Freezing point. Yeah. It's not just a frost. When the sun rises, the water expands. And the expenditure of the water will cause the tissues of this, the cells of these plants just burst. And that is what we see here. Like this one. The cell structure has been damaged. They cannot do photosynthesis anymore. They're not green. Brilliant. 
pumpkins covered. Are you going to cover this one also? Yeah. You have enough cover. Oh, your dripping system, even in the rain it works. Oh, these are, these are, yeah, marrow. Yeah, even in this weather they're coming. So you can use any of those, probably. The rubbish, huh? You cannot use them. Or you can turn the edge of this over it. Yeah, this carpet. Uh huh, that's right.